The previous round of the ATV National Motocross Championship was pivotal as Joel Hedrick on the number one Phoenix Racing Yamaha needed to re-establish himself as the leader of the series after a rough run at round two. And he did exactly that, pulling away in moto number one. Chad Weenan, Bryce Ford, and Jeffrey Rostrelli battled behind him. Weenan trying to salvage points in his return from a broken collarbone. And incredibly, in Moto2, he got out front and tried to set the pace with the rest of the field in pursuit. But eventually, Hedrick would make the move, stamping his authority with a 1-1 day, while the likes of Max Lindquist and Nick Janusa, Rastrelli, Ford, and Weenan battled behind him. Hedrick reclaimed the points lead, while Weenan salvaged a podium. Now, at full strength, can Weenan get back? Yes, one of the longest running events in the ATV Motocross Series history. High Point Raceway welcomes you. This event's been running since the early days of this championship, since the 1980s. Early days for these kids. Had a series of bicycle races for the little ones on Friday. And then we rolled into the amateur racing on Saturday, which is a tradition to weave the amateurs in on a pro weekend in this series. And for better or for worse, some rain is usually tradition at High Point as well. Everyone dealing with that on and off throughout the weekend. There are pros signing the autographs for the fans, sound check, and everyone dialing in their machines for racing. It's Nick Janusa with the GoPro there. Max Lindquist waiting for him to catch fire. Cody Ford's been good this year. Logan Stanfield. But it's Bryce Ford looking to take a big step. Looking forward to qualifying. Uh, the track is honestly in really good condition after the rain. Super excited for this one, just have always been really comfortable racing here. It's, it's a little bit more high speed. Uh, just really excited to see the racing and, and just, you know, looking forward to getting some really good qualifying times and then uh, just ride like myself in the race and, and get the best results I can. Really looking to ride like himself today is Chad Weenan with a podium after the broken collarbone. Can he be even better today? Here we are, we're ready to see what we got today. It's kind of overcast clouds, a little bit of rain's been kind of touching down here and there. I've never had like a, a complete weekend here where I'm getting an overall, so that's my goals this weekend. I'm, I'm trying to come in and uh, be consistent, get good starts, and uh, just try to make it happen this weekend. Um, been feeling better and better after my collarbone injury. Um, not quite 100% yet, but man, um, I'm, getting, I'm getting close. Just see what the weather does today. Hopefully we get, we're all done with the rain and uh, I can adapt to this dirt and get used to it pretty quick and uh, try to get our, our setup nice for uh, our two motos today. Yeah, and like I said, mud is not a shocker here at High Point. They've all dealt with it before. Weaning on the line, there's Joel Hedrick getting ready. This will be qualifying and the famous downhill roller jumps at High Point. Hedrick has always demanded the beat on the stopwatch. Impressive what these guys are able to jump in these conditions. You can see the track going in and out of the softer mud and then the more slippery, slick stuff. There's Weenan hitting the skies. About an hour south of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania here. Jeffrey Rastrelli has been all over it. Brandon Hogue has been luckless this year. This could be the turnaround weekend for him. And we mentioned Nick Janusa has the GoPro on the front. So let's hop on. We'll have more of that in the motos. There's Wesley Wolf getting kicked around sideways. So hard to predict how the track will unfurl in these conditions as it keeps getting drier. There's Max Linquist on the number two. This is Kevin Saar on the 3-1-1. Michael Allred always runs the distinctive yellow colors on the number eight. It's Cody Ford on the five. A couple of uh, young riders, Aaron Salinas and Adam Ulrich. And Dane Molander on the old school. Love to see a Suzuki out here. There's Merman, and here are your times. Hetrick on top. Bryce Ford edging out Weenan as we get ready for our motos. ATV Motocross is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires.
ATV motocross from the hills of High Point, and the mud luckily pushed off to the side of the track. Conditions getting a little bit better as we get prepared for our first of two pro motos. Some more amateur riders out on the track right now. That'll dry things up as well. And we get the autographs. We get the track tuned up. The machines as well. Looks like most riders going with the regular tire size and not the oversized tires that we'd run in a full mudder. Let's check in with the rider originally from Pennsylvania and back to the points lead, Joe Hetrick. Qualifying first today. Uh, track was was actually pretty good for the rain we got last night, the rain we got the day before. So track's holding up really good. They're doing a good job with it. There is a couple couple lines out there. It's not just super one line like we thought. Starts a little mucky, but uh, hopefully we get off to a good start in this first moto and, and put down some clean laps. And the starts have been on point for Hetrick this year, except for that one we saw earlier in the season with him and Weenan flying over the top of each other, which opened up a crazy day at Gainesville in Florida. And that is why other riders have the opportunity for this title this year. Can they keep that going? No, Hedrick's going to shut them down and lead into turn one. There is Linquist, Max Linquist on the number two. Want to see what Max can do? I believe it's his third year now as a pro. And will he make that leap? Can he start winning races running up front? Janusa, bad news for him. He's in the back. Good news for us. We're going to have some solid onboard footage. But here is Hetrick already going to work on the Phoenix Racing Yamaha, looking to get away from Linquist. And they're battling back there big time. Oh, Dane Molander, Pennsylvania native, down. Hate to see that from the rookie battle. As I mentioned, it's Linquist, Hogue, Restrelli on these steep downhills. The downhills and the off-cambers as Molander gets his Suzuki off the track. Those obstacles are the trademark of High Point Raceway. Very, very technical. And that's where Hogue is trying to set up Linquist. These are the types of battles I expected this year. These two to be up in podium level positions, holding off Australia as they are right now. Now saying they're gonna run with Hetrick, that's been a tall order for anyone in this series for quite some time. But we do expect these two to be able to turn their season around after some rough motos at the beginning of the year. Not a good start for, well, Janusa, as we saw. Haven't seen much of Ford or Weenan either yet. And now Weenan in the white jersey starting to roll up on that battle. Oh! Oh, Hogue tried it outside. It was too slippery out there. He got back on in front of Weenan, but not before Rastrelli was able to slip through. And now Rastrelli has gotten around. Linquist to take over second, so taking advantage of that battle and making two moves. Rastrelli, the veteran out of Florida. And the crowd likes that. Rastrelli going to try to pull away now on the 28th and leave this crew behind. He definitely wants to put distance between himself and Weenan. And he's doing it right now. And Weenan able to make the move. I, I was watching that split line. I didn't even realize that Hogue had gone out there. You saw where Weenan went, there was still grass. So still not a lot of riders have taken that line, but it worked for him. And we finally see Ford of the number four for the first time in this moto. He's right there ahead of Janusa. This is the rider that was leading the points going into our previous race. So he has some serious ground to make up in this moto. And look at the gap that Hedrick has built over Rastrelli and company back here. And if you take him out of the picture, the racing's pretty darn close. Hedrick on those downhill rollers. Credit to fans for coming out in these conditions to watch this. Certainly not ideal today. Rastrelli, what's ideal for him? He has pulled away from this pack. And a good job by Linquist. He has held Ween in that bay. And if you're Jeffrey Rastrelli or you're Joel Hedrick, you're like, this is what we've been waiting for a long time. Someone else that can mix it up with Ween. And Linquist is doing it right now. Ween tried the inside line he used on Hogue and Linquist had it covered. Stay with us. Welcome back to the battle. It's High Point Raceway and ATV National Motocross. 
And it's a four-way duel. And finally, Chad Wien in there in the white fly racing gear able to make the move on Max Linquist. He has been working so hard. He's got Brandon Hogue right behind him. They've also been battling the home moto. And watch out, that orange jersey, that is Ford. He has been slowly but surely, and they just parked Linquist. And it's getting down to the late stages of the moto, and patience is running thin. Now let's see if Ford can get around Hogue, and let's see if Weenin can catch up to Restrelli, who has definitely built up a big gap. And Linquist, he'd love revenge on these guys, got the start that he wanted. Oh, Ford is right there now behind Hogue. Hogue gets a little sideways. It's the opening Ford was looking for. Now back to the top. Man, Hogue is staying in it despite the pressure from Ford. Look, he's got a shot to repass Chad Wien, and it's not something you often say with the eight-time series champion, but Wienin is under serious pressure right now. Oh, you see just how big this jump is, and now Hogue has done it. He has made the move. Something happened. Bad drive out of that corner for Wienin. I don't know if he hit neutral, if he stalled. And Ford tried to take advantage. They nearly collided on the landing. And now Wienin has pulled it back together on the downhill. Man, there's some great racing here. And they are pushing the eight-time champion around. And Hetrick, again, no idea any of this is going on. He has absolutely dipped out. And here's Rostrelli letting it all hang out, desperate to not fall into the clutches of this battle. Hogue, Wienin, Ford. And the battle's still on. This is Janusa and Linquist. Oh, not the moto Linquist was hoping for after that great start. Time running out for Hetrick out front. Looking to bring this one home. And man, as he put on a clinic, face some adversity with the big crash at Gainesville. And has he ever come back? He might be better than ever right now. Weenan going back to work on Hogue for second. And Weenan's good in the rough stuff like that downhill. He's the tallest rider in this group. He can use it there. They almost collide. He's trying to get inside. Hogue just gave it up. He didn't think he was going to have Weenan covered, and he went wide, and Weenan pulls the same pass that he used earlier in this race to get back by him. Now it's up to Ford to try to respond. White flag out for Hetrick, and also shout out to Restrelli. We haven't seen him much lately, but he is holding his own in second, not letting those riders get a hook in him. There he is, greeting the white flag. There's Weenan, and there's this battle. Ford looking to get Hogue, and this is huge for championship points. And they just bumped. I mean, literally ran into the back of Hogue, looking for an opening. I think they just touched again. And it worked. Aggression from the young Texan, and he moves himself up to fourth. And you got to do it with Hetrick slipping away. Everything you can to salvage any point you can. In case there's more bad luck, you never know how these seasons are going to go. Yes, Hedrick is back to his dominant ways. We've seen things slip away with bad luck and mechanical problems before. This year, though, he'd like to think they have it on lock. Moto wins go a long way toward that. And Joe Hedrick wins Moto 1 here at High Point. And here is Rastrelli. Great job, Jeffrey. Takes a look over. Got to be happy with the gap he was able to maintain over everybody else. Now we go back to the gates for moto number two, and Hetrick trying to finish the day perfect. Wesley Wolf and the crew ready with the 30-second card up. Hetrick with the start again, and this time winning right behind him much better, although he's 
left battling with Hogue, just like he was in Moto 1. Janusa buried in the back again. Again, that'll allow us great footage. And Wienan wants to make passes. He's up to second. He's cleared Hogue. Rastrelli and Ford are right there. So some of our fastest runners are up front early in this moto. This should be a fun one. And there, Janusa giving you the idea of the speed and the line choice from Ford, who just sliced and diced to try to get Rastrelli. Now Rastrelli comes back, not enough. Ford locks down fourth. Back to the downhill. Oh, Rastrelli had an opening. Couldn't quite leave the brakes off long enough on that big downhill. Weenan trying to keep tabs on Hetrick. Rest of the field coming through. And we see a little bit of dust here for the first time this weekend. They slung all the mud off to the outside in that corner. Here we are on the downhill rollers. And the battle rages. It looks like Weenan looking to get away, at least securing second overall for the day if he can hold this, although it's early. But I don't know if he's going to be able to run Hetrick down. Down to the bottom we go. This is great stuff as we get to the bottom of this hill. Look at this freight train. See if Rastrelli can get Ford back. You know they're going to go after Hogue. And Janusa, much better moto this time with a little bit better start. Meanwhile, no solutions for the speed of Joel Hetcher, the defending champ, rolling away. We'll be right back. ATV Motocross on MAV TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires. Look at this battle. Brandon Hogue, Bryce Ford, Jeffrey Rastrelli. I thought this could be brewing, and it has arrived, just like Rastrelli has. And he's going to punt his way around the outside of Ford. As my man James Stewart would say, that was straight up disrespectful, going around the outside like that. We'll see if Ford can fight back. Down in the downhill rollers. Here they come. Rastrelli's got the bit between his teeth. Gonna be fighting for third overall here, depending on how this math works out. And that's a podium. He wants it, and he's got it. And Jeffrey has come to life here around Hogue. And previously around Ford. There's Ford right up against the side of the track, looking for some traction. Michael Allred out of this one. Pretty lucky in this race. Not a lot of huge crashes or major mechanical problems, but he suffered one there clearly. Here is Hetrick on the gas, pulling away. He's got this thing completely under control. Man, Rastrelli looks good on those rollers as he gets away from the Hogue battle. Hogue versus Ford. We have a front row seat thanks to Janusa. Battling it out still. Oh, to the inside. Hogue tried to hold Ford off. Had the inside not quite able to do it. As Hedrick just clicking it off. Credit to these guys. They have been within inches of each other at times in some of these battles today. But we have not seen anyone tangle wheels. We've not seen anyone crash. Oh, up against the outside hitting that berm. It was Hogue. He was lucky to survive. Janusa is all over him. Trying the outside line. Great job. Seat bounced. It got the traction. That'll put him on the inside here. And Janusa completes the pass. Man, that was some great riding for the veteran out of New Jersey. Got his new facility there. Really looks like a fun place to ride. Kind of like High Point. Conditions have actually worked out almost perfectly. 
yes, some of those slick spots, but it's all part of the challenge. And Joel Hetrick, who grew up in Pennsylvania, other side of the state, but still a Pennsylvania native, definitely knows a thing or two about this dirt. Hetrick over the top, Weenan in second. Look at Jeffrey, man, he is closing on Weenan. He has been on fire today, but it's not going to show in the results because it's a 1-1 for Joel Hetrick and Weenan with a 3-2 will edge Restrelli. Still both on the podium. We'll take third, uh, third overall today. Um, we scratched points with Chad, so he didn't gain on us and gained a bunch of points on Bryce. So. Um, we're looking good going into the next round, and uh, I like Iron Man as well, so we'll, uh, we'll see you guys there. I, put, I got in a good fight uh, there for a while with Joel, and I kept, kept pushing the whole time. Uh, I'm getting back to my normal self, so I'm happy with that, and uh, huge props to my team and everybody behind me. We're going to head, uh, head back to the Midwest here next, and we'll sort of see you all there. You know, I knew the starts was going to be key today, and I uh, really executed them good and picked some good gates, which was awesome. Happy with my performance. The bike was working awesome. Can't thank the Phoenix Racing Crew enough for that. Uh, we got, you know, an awesome, awesome machine this year, and I I'm feeling really good, and uh, I, think, I think we're seeing that with the finishes. So just got to keep up the good work and hard work, and uh, we'll see you at Ironman. All right, let's give you the CST tires race recap. Big early lead for Joel Hetrick. The battle was on between Linquist and Hogue. Hogue goes off the track. Here's a very game Jeffrey Rastrelli. Dane Molander, a crash that would end his moto. Rastrelli just bumping and banging his way toward the front ahead of Hogue and Linquist. Eventually, that white gear that is Weenan joining the party, making moves. But it was not over. Look at this. Linquist, they gang up on him. They bump him around. Weenan would lose a little bit of positions and time. Hedrick would go on to get the moto win over Rastrelli. Weenan would recover for third. We go to moto number two. Weenan a better start in second. Not able to keep Hedrick in sight. I mean, who can right now? There is Rastrelli making moves around Ford. He got around Hogue. He got to third. Great ride by him. This is Janusa making the move on Hogue as well. There's Hedrick with another 1-1. One -one. He's extended his lead. Look at Weenan back there in fifth, trying to mount a comeback after the broken collarbone. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wygant. Congrats to Joel Hetrick.